Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys call me Superior, and today I'm coming at you guys with the next installment of Best Class Setups. And in this one, we're going to be covering a highly requested gun. And this is a gun that I never really tried out previous to this video, and it is the K7. Um, you know, it took me a few games to play with it, figure out how to use it, you know, how good it is, how bad it is, where it's good and where it's not. And, um, you know, this game was one of the first games that you're watching after, I think it's like the fifth game I played with this gun, and it's actually a solo blitz game. And I know a lot of you have been, been complaining that most of my gameplays are in parties and you wanted to see more solo. So that is why this gameplay is in the background. It is a K7 chem strike, and just look how sexy that Spectrum camo is on the K7. So a little bit about the K7, um, it has a pretty pretty you know the damage on it varies a lot at close range it's a three shot kill which is faster than most weapons or it's actually just about average for most weapons but at a long range it drops off to seven shots to kill and you know it has the damage multipliers like if you hit them in the head they're gonna die in less bullets but it's definitely not a powerful gun and if you play with this gun on a map like siege or stonehaven you probably won't find too much success and if you sit back and try and pick people off, it's not going to work, you know? It's better to have, like, an M27 or, like, a Remington or something for that. So you definitely have to have a play style that kind of caters for this weapon. Um, so that's about it for the weapon. You know, you definitely have to play aggressive like I am in this gameplay. Most of my, um, you know, gunfights are close range that I use this gun for. And for the ones I don't, I actually pick up a Honey Badger, which you guys will see. And, you know, I'm able to pick those. So it's definitely a good idea to pick up another assault rifle when you're using this gun. Because it is extremely deadly at close range. But it sucks a dick at long range, so, you know, avoid those gunfights. So as, as far as the class setup goes, I have grip and extended mags grip because when you get in a medium range gunfight, you need to re get rid of the recoil. You know, this gun uh, really does remind me of the MP MP5 from Call of Duty 4 and other Call of Duty. So, um, you know, it has quite a bit of recoil, but if you throw on that grip, it gets right rid of it. And um, I throw extended mags. The clip size is pretty good on this gun. You know, it's um, 32 bullets without extended and 48 with extended. But, um... Since I'm rushing so much with it, I'm going to be in their spawn most likely. And, you know, I'm going to need those extra bullets. And since I don't have sleight of hand until my sixth, um, you know, six point streak or whatever the hell it's called on my strike package, you know, I'm going to need extra bullets since I won't be able to reload that fast at all. So that is about it for the initial attachments. And once again, look how fucking sexy this gun is with Spectrum camo. It's absolutely, it's probably the best looking gun in the game with Spectrum. Uh, as far as perks go, I have Stalker. Stalker because... I don't know, dude. I just, I normally like quick draw, but I've been able to deal with not being able to aim down sight, and it's nice being able to slide around the map. Uh, dead silence and amplify, just because those two kind of work together to make your footsteps silent and to be able to hear other footsteps better as well. I focus, just because it helps me win gunfights, and hardline so I can get the sexy strike package earlier. Now, let's go into the strike package. I have scavenger and sleight of hand scavenger, because you need ammo. How are you going to get a, a chem strike if you don't have ammo? You know, I guess you could knife people, but, but I mean, come on, it's a knife. It's not gonna work um, then I have sleight of hand to reload faster because I like to reload fast and then my bonus I have agility takedown blind eye and uh, off the grid now those are all kind of stealth perks with the exception of agility and the reason I like to have agility or some speed perk on in my special bonus is just because it helps me move fast you know I love the feeling from Modern Warfare 3 when you get that specialist bonus and you get all the perks and you're just you're like fucking Lightning McQueen you know you're so fast and so having that agility on there kinda gives it that feeling it makes you feel feel like Superman so definitely try out this class it is you know I didn't think I'm like why is so many people suggesting the goddamn K7 you know if we're gonna do a submachine gun might as well do the MTAR and I threw it on and I loved it it was such a beast gun it has a built-in silencer which makes you just you know like what's a radar dude you are off that shit 24 7 especially when you get the specialist bonus so it is a great gun extremely powerful at close range sucks a dick at long range so definitely pick up a gun like the honey badger or Remington or whatever gun you can find on the map um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a comment down below with what gun you guys want to see in the next episode. Um, I'm thinking about doing the Honey Badger since that is one of my favorite guns. Other than that, have a fantastic day, guys. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. Follow me on Twitter if you guys want to play with me. Link will be in the description. And have a fantastic day. I am out. Thanks.